After more than 2 million ballots were recounted, Hillary Clinton only gained 102 votes in Michigan. A minimal difference, the state says, proves the integrity of our elections. But the State Board of Canvassers says the recount opened their eyes to some mistakes that need to be cleaned up. Fox 47's Susan Alcori explains the changes that could be coming to our election process as a result. No proof of hacking or fraud. Instead, the state's presidential recount revealed dozens of mistakes made by election workers. We've learned where some communities need some additional training. We're going to look through this process and see how many others pop up. Of the nearly 300 precincts that were recounted, state elections director Chris Thomas says 10% could not be included, mainly because the number of ballots in the bag didn't match the number recorded. In cases where the difference was significant, the state is auditing. It is unusual. Uh, you would open a ballot box and find 50 ballots when there should be 307. So we're going to look at those uh, 20 precincts, make sure all those ballots are accounted for, and allay those fears. One problem Thomas says was definitely human error. Has the state considering a new rule? Clerks in a few instances jamming way too many ballots into a bag that then splits the seam. Seems like common sense that you shouldn't have to have a regulation saying you can't do that, but that's where we may be. Nothing is official, but the state elections director tells me changes they're considering could involve more training for clerks and additional oversight when the ballots are counted on election night. People make mistakes, folks. It's not a perfect process, but it's the best one we've got. Lawyers representing Donald Trump are happy with the steps the state is taking, but Jill Stein's camp says clerks who made mistakes need to be held accountable. I think there should be fines levied on clerks personally, not something they can pawn off on the taxpayer. The state agrees there should be more transparency, but fines may not be the solution. We have a hard enough time finding election inspectors. We may have a hard time finding clerks. In Lansing, Susan L. Corey, Fox 47 News.